How's it going everybody? Just got done putting this new tire on the HW340 so we can knock some second cutting grass down uh, here in the field. Um, this video is the second part of uh, our oat harvest. Uh, in the last video you guys saw uh, us starting out with the uh, 9500 combine and uh, this is the second part. We loaded up the grain cart as you saw in the last video and parked it for the night. We got a hold of a neighbor who we we're selling the oats to. Uh, they run their, I think they have their own feed mill and they kind of make their own grain and everything. So um, basically I'm getting the grain cart out and getting ready to load him up. He just pulled in, so I'm gonna load him up and then heading back out to the field and finishing the oat harvest for 2020. So enjoy. That didn't take long to load him up. Got him out of here. Got to head back out to the field. Um, gonna climb into 45, 40, 55 and back that back up. Um, my brother's gonna clean out the heifer free stall today. So. Jump in this and start this up, let it warm up. So, um, fire 
bringing up the combine, letting that let that kind of get flowing and warm. Oh. Oh. Um, even though we got the 915 flex head, we're not going all the way down to the ground. Uh, we do oats to kind of transition um, when we're seeding it back over to alfalfa. So you can see the alfalfa coming in. So I really don't want to be cutting the alfalfa and sending all that green alfalfa through the combine. So we try to keep it. We try to keep it where we're getting the oats, but we're leaving the alfalfa. Some's obviously going to go through there. Uh, we've got a little high right here, but here you can see. Um, you want to get low enough down here to get the oats. If you stay too high, all you're going to do is knock the plant over. So I'm going to try to stay low enough to get the uh, to get the oats, but not get the alfalfa. And then it's going to be a busy day. Uh, my brother's going to clean out the heifer free stall, as you saw, and he's going to take care of feeding the cows and milking and everything. Uh, my dad's going to watch the corn stand. Like I said, sweet corn's his baby. And he's gonna come up with the disc vine and he's gonna mow this just to get the rest of this. I mean, obviously there's gonna be alfalfa in the straw, but we're just using it to bedding our heifers and there's not a whole lot of it right now. So he's gonna run the disc vine. That's just how he's always done it. He's always combined and then um, ran the disc vine over it. So he's gonna do that. And I'm gonna be in the 9500 and I'm gonna finish combining. So. Fingers crossed everything holds up. Let's hop in and let's keep combining.
pretty full bin, so we're gonna drive over to the grain cart and unload.
to get this back up to the farm, so I'll get this out of his way. That's a good job done. Um, oats are all done. We only had that one field. Uh, it was like 18 acres or so. So that's all done. The alfalfa looks really nice. So anyway, uh, get that disc mine tetted, raked up, bale up the straw, call it good. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Drop me a question or comment below. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. If you had a thumbs up to you, I totally appreciate it. Check out the uh, shirt tab for Mike B7810 merch. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one, everybody.